Hi, um, my name is Kirsten. I am a junior studying elementary education and I'm gonna do a day in my life now that we have transitioned to online classes. First thing I do in the morning now that I get to be home is I make myself a cup of coffee, I turn on some music, and I make some breakfast. Um, and I have a class in about half an hour. It's nine o'clock right now, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. So for my breakfast this morning, I'm gonna have some avocado toast, and I put a little garlic and some crushed red pepper in it. And then I put it on honey wheat bread, and then I put um, a fried egg on top. So I just joined my Zoom meeting um, and we're just doing like, where are you, how are you, um, how you holding up, all that. Um, so we're just chatting and then I think my professor's gonna start lecture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just working on my couch right now. I'll probably move to the kitchen table here in a minute, but um, for now I'm gonna eat my breakfast here and listen to lecture. So I just finished up my first class. Um, I'm about to go and do my second class, but first I'm gonna kind of clean up my room and I'll probably do my second class in here, but I don't want it to look messy on Zoom. Um, so I'm just gonna clean up really quick and then I'll go ahead and log in. I'm just opening my window up so I can get a little bit of fresh air um, and I haven't really set up like exactly um, like one spot that I do my zoom classes in um, I kind of just go wherever I'm comfortable so sometimes I do it in the living room and then sometimes I do it in my bedroom um, I am currently quarantining with my roommate her boyfriend and my boyfriend so there's four of us in the apartment and we're all doing Zoom meetings. So we kind of just um, work around each other's schedules and find a quiet place to do our Zoom meetings if they overlap. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my Zoom meeting in my bedroom um, because some people are using the kitchen right now. Okay, so I just got out of my Zoom meeting and I kind of got myself ready. I'm still in pajamas, but, um, you know, threw some makeup on, washed my face, did all that. Um, and I just thought that I would take this opportunity to, like, share my thoughts about everything that's going on right now because it's kind of crazy. So I know a lot of people my age feel different types of ways about everything that's going on and how seriously we should be taking this but i kind of have a unique perspective because my boyfriend he is a senior at iu and he has crohn's disease as well as asthma so he has to take this really seriously because he takes medication that suppresses his immune system so it would be really difficult for him to fight it off if he did catch coronavirus so We've been taking everything super seriously. Whenever we go out, we wear gloves, we wear face coverings, and we've just been really trying to make sure that we're only going out if it's absolutely necessary. We usually go to the grocery store once a week, and we're trying not to overbuy or anything, but just stocking up with what we need. And we do go on hikes, but we make sure that if we're going on a hike, there's not a lot of cars there, there's not a lot of people there um, at whatever trail we pick, and we make sure that we keep 
probably about like 10 feet between us and whoever's around us. I know that the CDC says to keep six feet, but we just like to be super safe. And we also have a bottle of hand sanitizer and Lysol at our front door. So whenever we come in, we put on hand sanitizer and wash our hands and, and we Lysol our phone and keys and wallet just to be super safe. We also have to be really careful about him. So it's been hard not to be around my family um, and not being able to like see a lot of my friends. But luckily I do have people here who I'm close to that I'm quarantining with. And I've just kind of taken this opportunity now that we're home to do all the things that I usually don't have time for. And so I've been reading, I've been doing yoga, um, I've been painting, which is something that I haven't gotten to do a lot in the past and I'm really enjoying. Um, and I've gotten to explore a lot of the trails and nature in Bloomington, which is super awesome because we have so many nature parks and so many trails that I've never been to. Um, so we've been exploring a lot of that and that's been super fun. Um, so yeah, we just are trying to keep a positive mindset and not panic about anything, but we are taking this really seriously and I've been urging everybody around me to take it as seriously as I am. <laughs> So for lunch, we're just gonna have some boxed mac and cheese and some chicken salad sandwiches. Say hi, Eddie. Hello. <laughs> That's my boyfriend. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna eat this and then I think that we're gonna go on a hike. So when we went to the grocery store, we got um, some starters to put flowers on our front porch. And these ones were like this already. But these have bloomed, so that's super cool. There's a lot of little buds still, but yeah, they're really pretty. So we just got to Yellowwood State Park. There's nobody here. Which is a good sign. Um, so Eddie is just looking at the trail map. Um, we're going to figure out which trail we want to do. And then we'll get going. So we're on the Jackson Creek Trail at uh, Yellowstone State Park. Um, and it's only about a mile and a half, so it's a pretty short hike. Um, it's really, really beautiful outside. It's like 65 degrees, so... Yep, we're just gonna hike and I will catch up with you guys later. Okay, we just got back from hiking and I took a shower and I'm very tired. So we are gonna order food and not worry about making food tonight and maybe watch a movie, maybe play cards, but nothing too crazy because I'm exhausted. So we just finished up dinner and we watched a movie and now I'm really tired because I only got like four hours of sleep last night. So I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. It's about 11 o'clock. Um, thank you so much for following along with my day today.